Well, on a different note, I was doing some bumper prep for my 2003 EM2 Civic Coupe. It's a little project. I have gotten a hybrid bumper from the junkyard. It's a 2003 only, and it has the correct top portion that'll match up with the headlights that I have but it has a bottom portion that number one it deletes this license plate holder hump that's on that bumper there gets rid of that and it gives it more of a uh, 0405 look with the style of lower valance and it's got the little flare here in the lip comes up and flares back down very similar to the look I made mine have with that lower lip. So I really like all those features about it. The only bummer is that this is all one piece, so you can't change out the grill. But, you know, maybe one day I'll hack it up and fit one of the other grills into it. But for now, I'm going to roll with it like it is. I'm getting it ready to get painted, so I've been stripping it down. I took off the little rubber weather strip and I wanted to fit this lip that I got that's designed for the 0405. The problem was this area here was designed for this lip to be further out, not as far in as the hybrid was. So what I ended up doing is it had this lump in it that was pushing up against where mine has its lip come, its lower portion of the lip, the tip of the lip. <laughs> anyway, so I cut that loose so that this could work more as a laying over piece over the top. And then I heated it. Here we can see it better this way. I heat it so that it would flare out like this portion does and made up cleanly. Let me lift this bad boy. Ouch. Oh, that's hard with one hand. You can see it better from above. There we go. It's not the most perfect thing, but it made that transition look like it's supposed to be for this bumper. And then this all lines up. And again, as we come down here, you see how the factory bumper flares out right there. So I flared that piece to match it. Now, the odd thing is, sorry, again, ugh, one-handed. I'm assuming that means that the 0405 bumper is slightly shorter. So that's a bummer. Um, if it looks awful once it's on the car, I may work out something to fill this so it looks less odd. But I ended up, usually you glue these things with a 3M tape, but I ended up drilling and tapping everything across the bottom with a lot of Honda screws that I had left over from various mud flap and underbody stuff, all the little spares I had, and it worked out perfect. This was originally sticking out to the side about that far away, so I had to coax it to come in to match up with the edge of the bumper. As you can see now, it follows the contour really well of the bumper. So that's been my project for today. Next, I'm going to, uh, probably for tomorrow, work on getting these out and putting the fog lights in that I got from Thailand. We'll figure out how to get those bad boys in. I don't have a, uh, any kind of video or any pictures to guide me, but they're supposed to be designed after the factory ones, so hopefully 
they have the bracketry in there similar to how the 01 to 03 those little guys work so but another project for another day as you can see the day has left I had to order um, I was doing the sway bar earlier and I had to order a uh, the end links because nobody has them so actually they did have them at the hub further north uh, towards Atlanta and they're going to ship them down to my local store They'll be here tomorrow at noon, so then I can finish putting the sway bar back on and have the car back on the road, so yay. But anyway, I was proud of that, and I didn't use a heat gun heat gun. I just used a regular old hair dryer so that I wouldn't overcook it, but you can again see how they had that, the hump based on the way that kicks out, and so I just clearanced everything with the Dremel and then clean that line up as best I could so that it would look like it was just a little lip that goes along. So, anyway, fun times. Heat gun and Dremel and drill and all kind of good stuff. So, that way everything is set up. I'll let that stay for a while. I'll probably heat these edges a little bit um, so that they'll relax into that shape. And this is just shadow you're seeing there, but there, I did notice there is a bit of a gap, so I'll probably, uh, boy, it's in between the screws, but me tapping this part down here has caused a little bit of buckling, so I'll probably get two more screws to go in, Let's see if it's doing it over here, not as bad. So, but that one was considerably worse, uh, the tension on it. So, I'll probably just pop two more screws in. Boom and boom. Boom and boom. And that should uh, get everybody to sit where they're supposed to. But, again, pleased, happy, something unique. The only other lips everybody had was these ones that came up here and then they had like a simulated vent right there and that just bothered me i wanted something that was clean so i just opted for this straight lip version so that'll be different than what everybody else is running so it gives it kind of that sort of kind of splitter look but not really a little bit cleaner so anyway that's that Something simple, but I'll let you know how the fog lights turn out, and if I can figure out how to do them, I'll probably video it for anybody else who wants to do it, so. But again, that's today's progress. All right, have a good one.